Right, so in the previous video we have seen how to prevent these sort of NoSQL query injections and uh, the similar fashion uh, uh, there is an attack called uh, cross-site scripting which means uh, a payload will be sent to the server but with some sort of scripts attached to it right so for example let's say um, if it if it going to uh, attach some sort of uh, uh, post content uh, like let's say I will simply say uh, I don't know maybe uh, let's say some sort of some sort of script I don't know uh, I'm just creating my own script okay so don't be uh, worried but uh, don't be worried about the syntax but uh, yeah some some sort of con uh, script like this let's say const i equals 3 uh, maybe x plus plus uh, like uh, some sort of characters like this right so these stuffs are uh, you know some sort of script related code right so if i inject this now basically that will be published and uh, if this is a malicious script what happen is that uh, internally this script will be executed in my servers and it will cause the harm right so this is very bad thing uh, and it needs to be prevented so in order to uh, prevent that there is a package called uh, xss clean so it will basically clean up all all of those uh, script related uh, uh, characters for us then our server won't save those stuff in our backend so let's in, uh, install that package as well which is known as xss clean and yeah so let's construct it over here this is a screen and once that was created we can use that like this so let's comment it as uh, maybe uh, data sanitization against XSS attacks right uh, so let's use like this maybe so XSS right now that package has been used so if I try to invoke this sort of message again but I think the title should be different and let's try to invoke it again okay but you can see that uh, these logics are not there right so for example this div related character can be vulnerable and can be a script inside our content so that xss simply replace it by this character right but before it was originally like this which is quite harmful right so if you checked the database again uh, i think it, it is at the post and if you look at the content so this is the previous uh, malicious script that has been saved but uh, right now it is something like this which means uh, that xss package has been identified this as a malicious content so it has replaced the character uh, with this notation right so likewise uh, you can prevent xss attacks by using xss screen uh, package and uh, yeah uh, and we'll see more security stuff in the next video and uh, that's it for now uh, thank you